It's iconic across the globe and the base of more delicious coffee drinks than we'd like to count. But why is an espresso so special? Is it the best type of coffee? Why was it this particular way of brewing that made it so popular? Keep watching and let's find out. What is an espresso? Espresso is a concentrated form of coffee, served in shots, and is often the coffee base of many other types of coffee drinks, such as cappuccino, latte, americano, and macchiato. But what is an espresso? Espresso is not a type of coffee bean or a roasting style, a common misconception. It's a process of brewing coffee, and is instead made by forcing high-pressured hot water through very finely ground coffee beans. This is then topped with a crema, a brown foam, that adds the rich, full-flavored aftertaste. An espresso is intense and bold, but nonetheless delicious, and is usually served in small demitasse-style cups for this reason. Origin of the Espresso As with many famous coffee recipes, the espresso was invented in Italy, around 100 years ago, and is credited to a man by the name of Luigi Becerra from Milan. He was the first to use a steam-pressure method of brewing coffee, which produced a strong cup of coffee faster than ever before. In fact, the name Café Espresso translates to pressed-out coffee, referring to the water being pushed through the finely ground coffee at a very high pressure. By the 1940s, the process of making espresso had been properly fine-tuned, creating the espresso known and used across the world. What is the difference between an espresso and regular coffee? Espresso is the base of almost every type of coffee. Baristas making espresso use water under high amounts of pressure to force its way through compacted ground coffee, which makes a thick, syrupy liquid, with a gorgeous light brown foam layer on top, called the crema. That's the main difference. Other coffee types rely on a slower filtering process, allowing hot water to slowly sift through coffee grounds. Espresso also relies on a much finer bean grind, while regular coffee works perfectly with medium ground beans. Espresso is especially loved in its home country of Italy, where it is frequently enjoyed plain, fresh, out of the machine. Espresso shots are served in specially made espresso cups, called demitas cups. The one-ounce shots are a quick and intense pick-me-up. Espresso can also be served as a two-ounce double shot. Some coffee houses only serve double shots or doppio to help keep quality consistent. Espresso can also be made long though, using the same amount of coffee but twice the amount of water. Espresso is drunk throughout the day, but is especially popular in the morning and after a meal. How to drink espresso Though a serving of espresso is called a shot, it is not meant to be drunk in a single gulp. Instead, espresso is meant to be sipped slowly, so you can take in its full, rich flavor. Most enjoy a shot or double shot of espresso as is, but sugar or another sweetener can be added. It is sometimes served with a sweet biscuit, like biscotti. Espresso is also used to make a number of popular coffeehouse drinks. Cafe Americano A shot of espresso combined with hot water. Red Eye Filtered coffee combined with one shot of espresso. Cafe Latte A double shot of espresso topped with steamed milk. Cappuccino A single shot of espresso topped with steamed and froth milk. Caffeine Content in Espresso while espresso has the reputation of being high in caffeine, it all depends on how much you drink. Since the beverage tends to be served in smaller servings than coffee, it can sometimes end up having less caffeine than standard brewed coffee. Double and triple shot drinks and mixed drinks like red eyes can up the caffeine level significantly. Espresso contains 29 to 100 milligrams of caffeine in a single shot, often hovering around 75 milligrams. A double shot contains 58 to 185 milligrams. For comparison, a cup of drip coffee can contain 80 to 200 milligrams of caffeine, depending on the variety and brew. Since espresso can be made with any kind of coffee, the acidity in espresso will vary depending on the roast. Lighter roasts are more acidic since darker roasts tend to hide the bean's natural acidity. Many coffee shop espressos are a darker roast, making espresso slightly less acidic than some brewed coffee. Buying and storing the espresso blend Look for fresh roasted, whole, high-quality coffee beans for the best results. We recommend purchasing beans from your favorite local coffee shop or specialty grocer. Since espresso pulls the flavor out of the beans, find a quality bean and roast you like and stay away from cheap supermarket brands. The same goes for ordering an espresso at a coffee shop. 
Choose an establishment that has well-trained baristas and fresh, top-notch coffee beans. Store whole beans or ground coffee in a thick, opaque, airtight container in a cool, dark place. Avoid placing your coffee in the fridge freezer unless you plan to store the entire bag. Removing the coffee beans from the freezer to use them time and time again introduces moisture to the beans and sucks out their flavor. If your beans came in a thick, resealable foil bag with a valve, keep them stored in the original packaging. Once opened, use coffee beans within a week or two, if possible. For best results, grind the beans just before using them. I hope you enjoy this content. For more videos like this, please click on the top right corner of this video. Thank you and see you in the next upcoming video.